Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Note Facts. Today's show is going to be like my other ones. And if you don't like it from now, change the channel. You people who continually curse me and say I do this and do that, why do you watch me for? What do you watch me for? You're the stupid one, not me. Well, today's show, well, let me think. Everyone in Washington is getting fired, but what about Congress? There's more crooks and dishonest people than, than there are in the whole world. Every other day, someone is being let go. Trump is on the right altitude as far as bringing people who, in, in who don't, to, who, who uh, forget, who, yeah, bringing, bringing down uh, people who talk behind his back. Whether, uh, whether or not you like him uh, or not, he has accomplished some very good ideals with Europe and many other countries. That little hedgehog in North Korea, and that's what he is, a little hedgehog. He needs to be put in a garbage disposal. Uh, can't, I can't wait till they meet. If, I was, if it was me, I would press the red button along with a long time ago and put him on a rocket and send him a far away. No more, no, no more North Korea. Some of the people in Washington have, have stole, have, have so said no conclusion with Trump have said no conclusion with Trump. And Putin time, Putin's time will come. We'll tell him in, in, conclu- in uh, collusion in Shrewsbury. Or how will they get the rest of the residents' money? That's all they're interested in is the finance and school. Some selectmen should quit. They, they cause all the trouble in town, believe me. If you want, I know. They eat all, they all eat good. Look at them. One side, one rides around in a new Corvette where where did he get the st- did he get to steal the money from the special needs fund? I would not be surprised. They they don't care about the plan. The the the, the only ones that care are planning board, ex- zoning board, and many of the other boards. Boards, the Lakewood Sigmund, uh, the uh, conservation, and the rest of them. They're good people. At least they go the extra mile to make their things prime and prim and proper, and stay within the bylaws. And and above all, they they're courteous and polite to everyone. Just like Washington, what a joke. Uh, 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 that, that is everybody, there is more dirt than a hundred, a thousand gravel piles. God forgive some of, of those jerks here in town are not down there where they will be third. third when they're down there, there would be a third world war. You could take all your committees and boards and put them some dark place. There is nothing to be proud of in this town, especially with someone who just graduated high school, like the town manager. That's the first thing in his, ju- in his juvenile brain should be a new police station. I don't care if he hears this or not. He has no respect for me and a lot of other people. You've got to have a police station. What's this idea of a new school and water treatment plant? A new school. Furniture, walls, ceilings, and floors don't educate a kid. And the new water, what's he going to do, pipe the old water into the new plant or get a million gallons of water dropped from the sky? Yeah, 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 they're really, really bright in that town hall. He's a, he especially is bright, bright as a one-watt light bulb. Ha, 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 ha. A new school, don't educate the kids. New water plant, don't make the water taste better. And fire, and fire now all the school department, big head school. So is useless, the school committee useless. All the people in the town are brain, brain dead. They cannot see the corruption, all the dirty tricks they pull off. Say what you want about me, but hundreds of people, residents see it. And if the town try, try to call you, you slam the phone in their face because you love it because you're the worst. They, they're, they're the ones they, they're calling about. You people are smart. You can be voted out. You think you're untouchable. You're, you are certainly not now and forever. You're all ego and money hungry. Big headed, show off stupid people right now. Mr. Adler, especially. You're nothing but a big phony, and you su- your suggestions come out of your rear end. A garbage pail. I would like to meet you someday, but you're afraid and have no guts and nothing. And nothing for. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, 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 nothing comes from the same. Uh, unless O'Connor gives you the okay. 
some other ones who do. Why, why do we have a finance committee? Who, give, who gives all the money to the useless school department again and again? New furniture, don't educate. What about the special needs money? No one says anything about that. Why? Because all, all the school committee spends all the money. And when a poor parent brings their child up there or talks about their child needing special help, oh, we don't have any money left. We, you're going to have to spend the money yourself. Well, <laughs> on you too, the whole school department. You're a bunch of pigs, every one of you. And you'll still be pigs. Why? Because they spend all the money on stupid, useless things. The kids, bless them, can go to hell. You, you all will be dealt with soon enough. Just wait. Your time has, has come. Rotten crooks, not teaching the special needs kids anything. You'll, you'll all think you're getting away with it now. But the truth, you're not. The truth, well, what tragic human beings you are. Useless, useless, useless. No nothing, no nothing, no nothings. Non-humans, non-humans, non-humans. Just scumbags and trash. Think you're tough enough? Do something about it. Remember, if you cry or shake or do something other than other childish thing, I am right here. I'm right for the schools. Water. I'm not for, not for no schools, water plants, or anything else. Bad enough, we have a baby care library, a daycare center for the library people. I hope all of you uh, uh, voted for it and choked in putting in a new historic, in putting in an historic district. What a disgrace, a new building. You got no brains at all, no brains at all. Within five or ten years, it will look like the old one. You had two lumpheads draw it up. They get the money while you get an eyesore who goes in, who goes in their big heads, of course. And where do you start fixing the place? You won't be able to fix the place at all because it'll be something that those jerks put in that you can't fix on where you get to repair, repair things. Yeah, that I want to see. The water car, the water uh, will come out of some hospitals. Uh, the water, the water, I call some of the hospitals and see how many people have sore and infections in their mouths. There's tons and tons of people with that from Shrewsbury. The water superintendent don't don't care. Some of the selectmen don't care. I can write forever the people who don't care. All they care about is the mall in Route 9 and Market Basket on Route 20. More and more accidents and people will get hurt or killed. What apartments with the market on Route 20? One bedroom, one rotten, filthy uh, the, uh, the den they call it. Uh, yeah, sure. Traffic will be at a catamount. Where will the poor policeman stand? In, on the uh, on uh, on a side of the road trying to direct traffic, or in a ten foot barrier around them, because there's going to be a million accidents down there. You people have no idea what's going on. No idea what's going on. All you want is is uh, is a free box of fruit and vegetables and meat. I want to catch the the one on a camera. I will. I will too who I will will go to the first with a box and say, remember me? I helped get the license, some abuse, some advice. Get in groups, you can go always deny you're not, you're with them. Uh, oh, excuse me, the jerks, horse doctor, leave your Corvette at home. They may, they may give you scraps from the lettuce and, 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 uh, and uh, cucumbers and everything else because you're no goddamn good. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, this town will and never be any good. And I'm going to stay here for as long as I want just to aggravate all you people. And I love to aggravate people. You people want me out of town? Come and get me. Come and get me. I'm right here. It's uh, 5 past 2. It's Tuesday. It's the 14th, 15th. Come down here and get me if you want me out of here. <coughs> you think you're big enough. You're big nothing. The reason why you don't come down here because you know I'm telling the truth about things. And you ain't got no guts. You don't have no guts to show your face on TV. What, go to those meetings. Go to those meetings. Don't sit on your big fat ass and watch, eat, drinking beer, and eating popcorn. And go to the meetings and see what they're like. I get hundreds of phone calls a, a night. And the people tell me what they're like going to those meetings. They walk out halfway or just when the meeting starts. They have no decorum. They have no nothing. They have, no, they have no sense. They have no sense of what to do as a committee or a board. None of them do, especially the ones I mentioned who are rotten. The rest of the boards are fantastic. 
They're polite. They're courteous to people and everything else. They know how to act. And the people and the people remember that. They know how to act. Someone on the planning board forgets a piece of paper, uh, one of the chairmen or one of the people says, well, you can come back next week for it. Don't worry about it. It's kind of early in the process. There's plenty of time. Now, that takes a lot of guts. That takes a lot of guts to say that. And it makes the people feel good, too. It makes the people feel good, too. Uh, but some of these other boards, they act up like the, some of the selectmen, not all of them, some of the selectmen, they sit in their chair, especially the new one, and they twirl around, and they give people dirty looks and every other damn thing. And some of the other selectmen give them dirty looks. One other one in particular. Uh, some of the other selectmen are good. They, they listen to the respondent of the people. They listen for what they got to say. And then they take it under advisement for the next meeting. On the planning board, they're all good. They're all good. They're all good. They're polite. They're courteous. And if they don't know the question, they want it repeated so they can come up with the right answer. Why shouldn't that be on all boards? Why can't all the boards be respectful, be respectful to all the people in town, residents and the, uh, and the proponents of something new in town, other than, other than that, 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 that ghetto you got down there you call uh, Whole Foods, that dump. You buy food in there and the next day in the freezer it's all rotten away. You don't know what the hell you're talking about and the traffic it causes. And what about the, the new one down on Route 20 when that comes about? You people are ruining this town. You, you hate this town. You hate this town so much, you're ruining it. You think the people are going to vote for you next time? They're not going to vote for you. They're not going to vote for you. They're going to vote for complete strangers because strange strangers have a bird's eye view of what's going on. They see above all the crap that's going on in town. But you people don't. You love to see crap. You love to see confusion. You're not down there directing traffic in a snowstorm or a flood or torrential rains or whatever. You, they, these poor guys from the highway department, policemen, fire department, all that stuff, they get so drenched uh, with pneumonia and every other damn thing. But you're not. You're, 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 you're talking about it at a meeting. Oh, did you see that policeman down by the uh, that new market? I can't hate that market. I can't even think of the name of it. No, you didn't. You didn't see nothing. You'll never see nothing because you know good. That's why. You know good. Uh, you never will be. Uh, you got to smarten up, people. You got to smarten up. They're going to tire and feather you out of town. There's, got, there's groups now starting. I know because I'm part of them. There's groups now starting getting to get you out of office. And when they go up there in a group, you're going to be very, very sorry. Sitting there and leaning back like a big fat slob like you know how to do. It's not going to get you nowhere. Not going to get you nowhere. Just because you're selecting, you're going to say, oh, get out of here. You have no authority whatsoever. Our uh, school committee person, you have no authority whatsoever. And Big Head Sawyer, he should go down and go fishing with Mark Twain. Uh, that's what he should do. He should quit. He should resign. He's nothing but the biggest phony in the world. And every time a parent goes up and sees him, he, he crawls behind, the, behind the, the cabinet. So the poor woman at the desk can only, can only talk to the parents. She don't have the answers. And another thing I want to talk about, these, these multi, multi-day t- coffee breaks you, all you people take up there. You have a coffee at home, then you come in, you have a coffee, you put your, your, your pocketbook and your, and, your, and, your, and your coat on your desk chair, you go in the, car, the kitchen air car, and talk over there for an hour. And then you bring that coffee with you over there. What about a parent or a young couple want some information or needed a piece of paper signed by someone in this town? You don't care about them. As long as you're living in your house, what the hell do you care about anybody? You don't care about nobody. Someday, 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 it's going to come down on you like a mouth, like an avalanche. And believe me, I'm going to laugh. I'm going to laugh my head off. I'm going to be the first one here and tell you, you were told, you were told, but no, not you people. You'll stay there forever if somebody lets you. You'll stay forever and talk. You don't talk about school matters. Or you don't talk about, i got to sign these papers. Oh, how did you buy a new car? Did you buy a new house? How's that new furniture coming out? That's all you care about. You don't care about nothing. And the people in the school department, please, I don't even want to talk about them. 
They don't need all those people in that school department. Believe me. Believe me they don't need that, those people in that school department. And all this talk about forcing riddling on little children, that's a lot of baloney. That's a lot of baloney. You people should be put in prison for doing that. You should be put in prison for doing that. And why, why don't the parents get their lawyer and sue you for harassment and, uh, and uh, what's the other one, discrimination and all the other stuff, putting a kid on Ritalin. That's garbage. That makes him a nutcase. There's a nature food store down the road that's got stuff better than Ritalin. It's a natural food product, and it does this, has the same, doesn't have the same effects as that crap Ritalin. They can take this stuff and be very, very healthy from it. They can be very healthy from it. And there's no side effects. They should be on that. But no, 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 no. Not your Ritalin. So you can get up in front of the TV and say, oh, we had to bust 195 kids to Worcester because we can't handle them. Well, of course you can't handle them. You don't want to spend the time to handle them. And the teacher don't want to spend the time to handle them. And if, if one of the kids has a fight with a normal kid, one of the special need, needs kid, the special needs kid gets disciplined, not the normal kid. That's really good. That's really, 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 really good. That's really good planning as far as the teachers go in this town. Uh, you people will, will never, never learn. You'll never learn the right way to do things. The right way is a good way. You'll never learn. I want to see you get knocked out of that big chair you sit in. That's what I want to see you do on a finance and a school committee. And you know who I'm talking about. Uh, you should be burned in oil. That's what you should be. Uh, uh, uh. Some of the remarks you come out with. Oh, we, well, I didn't know that, you say. I didn't know that. Well, you'll know it if you ask the person to bring back the papers for the next meeting or the next day. You'll know it then at that point. But no, you're too busy. You're too busy. You don't have enough brains to go to the town hall and read the paper. You don't have nothing. These people in this town deserve the best. Some don't because they vote for every stupid thing that comes down the pike. They don't know any better. They voted for a stupid high school that's on top of a mountain and the school buses take 99 years to get up there. They voted for a stupid, the stupid grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need grass. Grass don't educate children. The money should have been with the kids, not your stupid grass. Because the football players' knees, tell them to wear knee pads. What the hell are they there for? I used to play football in mud, sludge, snow, everything. And so didn't a hundred other thousand kids. Uh, soft grass. Uh, phony grass. Phony this, phony that. Oh, we need the grass. It's better. It looks better. Yeah, sure. Sure you do. You need grass. You need a hole in your head. Uh, remember this. You're no damn good. You're no damn good at all. And if you think you're going to stand in a mirror and say and sing how wonderful I am, I hope the mirror cracks in a thousand pieces and lands in your face. That's what I hope. Uh, 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 uh. This, this town has to have a big turnaround, a big, 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 big turnaround. They, some of these parents are brainwashed, and they shouldn't be brainwashed, but they're too stupid not to see the light at the end of the tunnel. They listen. They listen to some of the officials. And the officials are wrong. They're 100% wrong. 100% wrong. 100% wrong. And they don't understand that, though. They don't understand that. They don't understand that. They're stupid. They're stupid. That's why they don't understand it. They're dumb. They're stupid and dumb. So that's all I got to say about that. We don't need any more schools, no more new buildings. Every time we complete a project, a new project starts. Why? Why this term, infrastructure? Who the hell cares about the infrastructure? These towns, you should go to some of these towns, how they remodel some of the old buildings. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. But no, not this town. This town needs gold schools, gold walls, gold floors, gold everything. Well, why don't you gold people go to hell and stay there? That's where you belong. Put some gold on your face and I hope you choke. You're a disgrace to your position you hold. Uh, uh, uh. And probably you won't hold that position too much longer if things go right the way I hear. And I wanna I wanna I wanna I wanna uh, I wanna read you two emails I got. One kid's from Virginia. 
he came up to visit his parents. Listen to this one. Uh-huh. And I hope you get I hope you choke on this one. I hope I choke choke on this one. I watch your show every chance I get when I come up from Virginia. It's good to see someone so bold when expressing their opinions in public nowadays. I have my family record your shows every time before I get to town. Keep doing what you're doing. We need people more like you. If you don't want our country to go to hell, people need to get off their ass. Stop eating junk food and know the facts. And this guy's from Virginia. How's that get you? How's that get you? An outsider knowing what's going on. Big fan. Love what you're doing with your show. All those jerks at those damn schools, at those damn schools, they're sick. I want you to expose those sickos. The time is for changes now. Turn your phone silent when you're filming. Let me know if you need any figuring out how. Why should I? Donald Trump might call me. I look forward to helping you get the facts out. Ha ha. Ha uh, ha. Look at that. I got a million more of these, but these two came today. I got a million more emails, and I haven't got a bad email yet. That's what I mean. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. And no new town manager, no new nothing's going to stop him. I don't care what he does. I don't care if he's uh, 13 to 25, 35, or 36. I don't care what he's going to do. But he's not doing the right thing. He's going around different places. Doing what? What is he doing? Is he going over to the police station and see how, see how lousy they work in? No. No. He can make the selectmen. Uh, 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 get a voter a petition ready for a town meeting for a new police station. Why don't he? No, the town meeting consists of, which is something else, the town meeting consists of half work for the town and half for officials. That makes good sense for the town. That makes good sense to vote. That makes very good sense to vote. I'm waiting for an answer from a group in Boston on that. And when I do, it's going to be spread all over town. And there may be a lot of resignations. Who knows and who cares? I really don't care. But you should be ashamed of yourself voting against the people like that. The people are the, are the, are the rulers of this town. Not you people. You people have, should have nothing to say. You sheep people should have nothing to say. When it comes time to vote, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Voting on your own raises and all that stuff. <coughs> and making fools out of yourself. Keep making fools out of yourself. Go ahead. You think I'm the only one who don't notice things? There's a hundreds and hundreds of people out there that notice things. It's going to come to an end very, 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 very shortly. And I'm going to be right at the forefront. And if you want to shoot me, now nah, there'll be a chance to shoot me if you got guts enough. You're too stupid to, 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 to have guts enough to shoot me. Then you have all these parades in town. What do these parades do? What do these parades do? They do nothing. They don't bring nothing to the forefront. They don't bring all the bad things to the newspapers or the people or strangers from other towns. They do. They hide it all and they bring and they tell the ta- and they tell strangers all the good things in town. What are the good things in town? What are the good things in town? Nothing. Absolutely zero. That's the good things in town. Nothing, except a daycare library. You call that a good thing? You got computers in there? What did you waste your money for computers for? The kids have them in their pocket. They have them in their home. They have them in their school. They have them in their car. They have them everywhere. You don't need computers in this, in this uh, so-called coffee uh, uh, place in there. The people only go there with their kid to talk to other parents. They don't give a damn how their kids are doing. What do you think? They're standing by their kid and seeing how they're doing? The kid comes up, look, Ma, what did I do? I do? Look how good I did. Yeah, sure. You did wonderful, kid. But your mother and father didn't. They failed. They failed. They failed in being parents. They, they, don't, they don't follow the right way of doing things in a good town. This is basically a good town. 30, 40 years ago, this was a good town. This was a great town. You'd see selectmen. You'd see board members. You'd see everybody down the coffee shops. Hey, how you doing? They'd say, come on, come on have a coffee. Buy a coffee or whatever. See you in a restaurant. Hey, how about a drink? How about this? How about that? Not today. You say that to any of them today, they give you a dirty look. Believe me, they do. They give you a dirty look. There's only one selectman that always, that always says hi to, me, hi to me. Always says hi to me. And with a big smile on his face. He's a nice man. He's a very nice man. 
I don't want to give him, give him his name because you'll probably shit all over him. Uh, I'm not going to do well. I'm not going to give him his name, give you his name. But he's a good guy. He's a very good guy. He understands what's going on. Uh, I don't know if the other ones do. They don't. It's, it's, it's ridic totally ridiculous, totally ridiculous. Well, that's all I got to say for tonight, folks. Uh, thank you for not watching. If you did watch, thanks again.